In this video, I want to talk about what actually goes into charging your electric vehicle. When you buy an EV, it comes with what's called an EVSE cable. This is your charging cable. It's designed to be used at home, and you'll probably find that charging in your garage is the primary spot that you'll be charging your vehicle most of the time. So let's do a quick overview of the EVSE. On one end, you have the cable that attaches to an outlet in your garage. So let's just say a standard 120 volt outlet. And then on the other end, you're going to have the part of the cable that goes into the charge port of your car. And it has a connector on the front that fits the charge port of your vehicle. And on the leaf, there's a button inside that you can press to open up your charge port door. There's also a button on the key that does the same thing but basically, once the door is open, you take the end of the cable that's the 120 volt plug, plug it into your wall outlet. For me, it's right here behind my washing machine. And then you plug the other end directly into the charge port, for me, here in the very front of the Nissan Leaf. So there are three LED indicators on my EVSC. The first one lights up green once you've plugged into your 120 volt wall outlet. And once it lights up green, it indicates that the EVSC is ready to begin charging. Then, once you take the other end of the cable and plug it into your charge port, if you have a secure connection, then the second light, which is labeled charge, will illuminate in orange to let you know that everything is charging properly. The third LED light is red and labeled fault. This light will indicate generally as soon as you plug in the EVSC into your wall outlet if there's any type of connection uh, to prevent you from plugging the other end into your car. So every electric vehicle comes with its own EVSC so that as soon as you buy the vehicle you can immediately start charging the moment you get home. But an EVSC, because it's to be connected to a 120 volt wall outlet, just a standard home outlet, it's the slowest type of charge you can get. It's called a level one charger, also called trickle charging, as you might see in your owner's manual. So when you're using a level one charger like the EVSC that comes with your car, it can take upwards of 12 hours to get a full charge in your vehicle. So if level one isn't fast enough for you, the next option you could do is install a home charger into your garage, and this will take you to a level two charging speed. If you get a level two charger installed in your home, or if you use a public charger that you see uh, out when you're driving around, those are also level two chargers. Those run off of 240 volt currents and they'll charge your car, if you're doing the math, twice as fast. So you can install a 240 volt level two charger in your house if you like. I thought about it, but uh, the options were pretty pricey. The dealer gave me some references and ultimately I decided to go with an option that I found online. There's a company called EVSE Upgrade and what they do is you mail them your EVSE and they modify it to run on a 240 volt current if you have that type of plug in your house. Now I'm fortunate enough to have a 240 volt plug which I usually plug my dryer into but with an adapter and with the EVSE upgrade I'm actually able to plug my EVSE into that same dryer outlet and now I can charge my car at a level 2 charging speed and now I'm able to get a full charge in about four and a half hours instead of 8, 10, or 12 hours just off the 120 volt current that a normal wall outlet supplies. Now that may sound like a long time to charge, and it is, but think of it this way. You generally charge your electric vehicle overnight, just like you might your cell phone or any mobile device. So when you think of it that way, it really isn't that time consuming because your vehicle is charging while you're sleeping. So my routine is I get home the normal time after work, maybe around 6 or so, but I don't plug in until after 10.30, and I'll tell you why. It's because electricity costs just a little bit less in what are called off-peak hours. So the off-peak hours for me are generally between 10.30 at night and 6 in the morning, and that's when I try to charge. So normally my routine is come home from work, pull the car into the garage, and then plug in after 10 or 10.30 when I'm about to go to bed, let the car charge all night, and then I have... 50-60% capacity back in the morning when I wake up to leave for work the next day. If I need a full charge for some reason, I've always got that 240 volt option 
and that way I can leave in the morning with a 100% battery charge. And a quick note while we talk about charging percentages, you're not supposed to charge your car up to 100% all of the time. Lithium-ion batteries don't like holding a full charge for several hours. It just degrades the battery quicker. So a common practice for EV owners is to not let their battery drain below 20% and to try to avoid charging above 80% unless you're about to go somewhere right away, in which case you can leave it charging to 100 and then hit the road right away as soon as it's fully charged. This is just a tactic that might help your battery last a little bit longer than if you charged it to 100% and let it sit full overnight for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Always looking forward to talking more about electric vehicles.